Welcome to the automotive collision repair industry training facility here at Blackstone Valley Tech. Most of our training is covered in the automotive refinishing area. And before we can get to a project like you see here being sprayed as freshmen, we have to start off with basic panels like here, where you're going to learn the basics of your spraying, your ergonomics with a spray gun, how to handle one, and the distances that you need to keep to get a great finish on a panel. For the first time someone's introduced to the automotive refinishing practice, when you see a spray gun like this, it can be a very stressful experience because when you're spraying a car, this is what you use as you have all the paint materials being put onto the panels. But when you're spraying a panel like this tank here and you see all the curves and the lines and all the different body shapes to it, when you're using this as a training practice, the cost of paint and materials for the refinishing process can be extremely costly and that adds up extremely quickly as you're going through student to student. Now here at Blackstone Valley Tech, we have just acquired a new piece of equipment that helps us lower our cost of the training for the automotive refinishing side of it. And if you come with me, I will now show you that piece of equipment. This is our VR Sim Spray. It is the new training tool that we have here at Blackstone Valley Tech. It, uh, it's a 3D virtual reality uh, automotive refinishing training tool. It allows us to apply as much paint and product as we would like, as you can see, without wasting any material. It is extremely cost effective and it does not release any volatile organic compounds into our environment. As you can see here, the student as she is practicing her spraying techniques is wearing a virtual reality helmet. This helmet puts her into an environment of a spray booth where she is using a simulated spray gun to apply the paint and also, as you can see, where she is physically spraying, there is not a panel on it. But when she's looking into that helmet, she sees the physical panel. When the student is finished spraying through the 3D system, we can check their scores on this uh, computer screen here under the instructor view instead of the painter's view. And you can see here in the score area, you have the paint applied and the paint wasted in ounces. And then as you keep going through the system, you get their paint coverage, where you can go all the way around the panel. You can see where it's blue, it was lighter. Where it's green, it's a good coat. Where you've got some red, it's a little bit heavier than it's supposed to be. And then you go under here, under the defect icons, and you can see um, where she was going too fast, she was too close, too far away, or at a bad angle with the spray gun. And that's where you really learn how to hold your gun against all the contours on the panel. And the best part about it is, is once you're finished with your training, you can strip the panel as easy as that. When the student's ready to start over and start practicing on another panel, all you have to do is come up to this screen further into the system and select your workpiece. Then you choose the color that she's going to be spraying, the environments in a spray booth. And when you get to this screen right here, your project specifications, you have to make sure you set the air pressure setting to 49 and the fluid pressure setting to 49. Then the instructor just hits the button calibrate here. Bernice, go ahead, calibrate the gun. And then she's already ready to be spraying on a different panel and learning on different techniques. This is our new technology to train in the automotive refinishing industry. It's a lot more cost effective and it's a lot greener of a technology than we used to use when we're spraying physical panels in the spray booth where we'd be using up materials and releasing a, a lot of uh, volatile organic compounds into our environment. With this technology, we don't release any VOCs, we don't use any material. It's a lot better way to train students in a training facility.